Hey guys, Joaquin Elizondo from HollywoodEditingMentor.com back with another video tutorial. And I gotta say, it's more like a, a quick tip that I wanna share with you today. Uh, and it has to do with sound design and how we actually cut in our sound effects into our timeline. Uh, so check it out here. I have a, um, a short film here that I, that I cut. Uh, and, and of course, did some, some, some sound work on it. Uh, I'm gonna be focusing on this section here, which I'm gonna play for you right now, just so you can see what it's all about. That's it, it's very captivating, right? <laughs> Nothing too complicated. You know, it's just our, our two main characters uh, getting uh, out of the car, they're having a discussion, getting out of the car, and then heading into a building. But I'm gonna focus here on the sound, and specifically um, this file here. Um, uh, that's, you know, it's, it's city noise. Uh, you can see it says light traffic and pedestrians, little city rumble. Basically, the idea was that uh, the director, when they were in the, in the car, they didn't want to hear a lot of the city noise or, you know, what's happening outside the car. They wanted to keep it inside the car. Uh, and so I just used, for example, um, production sound. These are the mics uh, on both of those uh, actors. And then once uh, I cut outside, uh, I, you know, I wanted to use something from a sound library. Uh, I got this. It's just a little bit more, kind of more of a fuller sound. Um, and it was just kind of quiet and, and, and just kind of what the director was looking for. Um, so I cut that in. Uh, and other stuff as well, like the keys, uh, and then the, 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 the door sound, that's actually the production sound, I like the, the, the sound. Uh, it's, it's just from that car, and, and, and I just cut that in, in that section, and of course, added then the footsteps. Anyways, but this is not a video about going into specifics of sound design, just it's a little quick uh, tip that I wanna, wanna share with you, and it has to do with how we cut in our sound effects. So this is what usually happens, right? I see this a lot, that's the reason why I'm doing this, because I see this a lot. Uh, and it, it, you know, we're, we're, we're here, we're like, all right, I need this, I need this. I'm looking for kind of a city noise the background um, for this section, right? Uh, and then we start going into our, 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 our bins, finding sound effects. We click on one we like, or we wanna, wanna audition, check it out, and we play it, listen uh, a couple seconds, and we're like, ah, cool, that works. And then what tends to happen, this is just out of habit, it's not, no one's wrong here, it's just, this is just out of habit. We, you know, probably put the uh, playhead at the beginning of the file and hit, uh, you know, our, our, lay down our endpoint, and then, you know, pick our section where we want to drop this into, and then, you know, and, and we drop it in. So what happened there? First of all, look it, I'm going to undo this. First of all, I just want to say that I, I like to put um, audio transitions at, at the majority uh, uh, of my cuts, um, especially when I'm changing kind of environments. So in this case, going from the interior of the car to the exterior, I just want to make sure that kind of, you know, that the sound kind of blends, uh, you know, together. It's just smooth as we go, uh, as we cut to the, the next shot, right? Uh, and so I like to add um, audio transitions a lot. And so now I'm going to cut that, uh, sound effect once again and you'll see what happens that audio transition I'll show you again right now it's at the center right I like to lay down the transitions right at the center if I cut in then this file this effect sound effect without giving it any uh, you know room at the top any extra frames at the top at the head what's gonna happen is that now look at that that audio transition is starting at the cut right here, right? So what is that gonna do? What is that gonna do? So I'll play it. Play it again. So it's just not smooth. I mean, it's just like, it's just kind of jarring, right? It's like, it kind of ramps up. And I feel like these little things can, 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 can take someone out of the, you know, um, the experience of watching uh, can make it seem that uh, things are not working. It's just kind of, you know, it takes you out of it. So that's why I like to make things, uh, especially audio transitions, very smooth. So that now, uh, you know, this transition, given that that, that, uh, that file does not have 
any extra frames at the top, I can't add, I can't put my audio transition in the center. I have to put it, it's forcing me to put it at the start of the cut. But that's one thing. The main reason why I'm doing this is because, let's say now, for example, uh, you're working with uh, a director or a producer, or even let's say you're just working by yourself and you're, you're trying to make some adjustments. You're like, I want to open up this shot. I want to open up this shot here, kind of, you know, cut to her sooner as she's getting out of the car. Um, so then I'm going to open it up, right? So I want to open it up. Uh, oh, but I can't because I also want to bring along this, 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 this uh, sound with me, the city sound, kind of background noise. And, but I can't because it doesn't have any, any, any room at the top, any head, right? So now the solution, well, what I do is I, I would unselect that, those tracks, and then just kind of open this back, back up, whatever I wanted. And now what do I have to do? I have to then, you know, fix this, right? I have to, I can't roll this out. There's no frames there. So I have to, like, you know, move it and then, you know, fix this. And whatever, it's fine. I mean, it doesn't, it's not a big deal and it doesn't take up a whole lot of time, but it takes up time, right? A second or two here and there uh, adds up to a lot. Sorry, I'm running out of juice. Certainly don't want to mess this uh, video up. But uh, um, so yeah, you know, uh, it, 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 it adds up. We want to be, move as fast as possible. Um, and also we don't want to uh, lose our flow here when, when we're working. You want to just keep moving and, and, and editing and, and, and making, making creative adjustments. And, and, and so this stuff can bog us down, right? Uh, we're, and we can't move as fast. So, so the solution is then to, you know, here, I'll, I'll just show you. Um, I'm going to make my selection there. Go back to my file. You know, and, and I don't know, you know, a couple frames there or whatever. Uh, come back here and I'm going to... I'm gonna cut it in, right? Or, or drop it in. And then here, then talk about the transition. Come back here, put it at the center. I, I always like to start with 10 frames. And there you go. So you have that. And then also then now, if, if I'm gonna make any changes, you know, say, you know, open up this cut. You know, I can just open it up. And, and that, uh, that sound effect, that sound just comes along with it. You know, and it'll also help you out, you know, when you, you do have like a bigger timeline with uh, way more effects, right? Uh, where you can just kind of, if you are making uh, any adjustments, if you're, you know, extending uh, the head or tail of a, of a shot, that you can just kind of roll out all, all, all the effects, right? And not have to then go back and, and, and fix things, right? Everything just comes together. Uh, so very important, uh, especially when, you, like I said, on bigger projects and where you have, you know, way more uh, tracks than what you see here. Again, like I said, it's, um, it's not a big deal, but you know, you, when you can save seconds here and there um, and also keep you, keep you moving, right? And you, you're just in it, you're not, you're not breaking your flow, your, your rhythm, you're, you know, you're just kind of staying uh, creative, not getting bogged down by you know, making these little fixes. Uh, it adds up, I'm telling you. So uh, just, I just recommend it uh, for both assistant editors and editors. Uh, assistant editors, uh, if you're doing sound design, uh, this will make your editor very happy. And also then for editors, like I said, you're just, you, just, you just keep working. You're not getting bogged down by, by doing these kind of minor uh, fixes. But anyway, that's it, guys. Uh, just a little quick tip. I'm uh, going to be doing a lot more stuff than diving deeper into uh, sound design uh, in the next few videos but just wanted to share this with you. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the Hollywood Editing Mentor YouTube channel. Got a lot more cool stuff coming up uh, soon. So uh, stay tuned and uh, thanks again. My name is Joaquin Elizondo, the creator of the Hollywood Editing Mentor program. I'll see you next time.